Yes. Yeah. Hmm. What? Glory Comporus. Hold on, something isn't right. Now you're learning good. Keep listening to me and you might stay alive. But it's not just the villagers. Where are the livestock? They didn't take them all to market, trust me. We're on the trail of our friends, though. They're moving fast, but it looks like we've closed in a bit. Their trail's hard to miss. They may know where they're going, but they aren't bothering to hide their tracks. It's almost as if they want us to keep up. I don't like it. Keep your eyes open and your weapon handy. I smell an ambush. Nice little ambush they planned here. Decent effort, sloppy execution. It might have even worked if I hadn't been here. Ah, and I was wondering where their reinforcements were. Come on, we're not done here yet. They left a large force in this village, which means it'll be easier on us when we catch up to the others, as long as we catch them before they go to ground. Huh? Well now, aren't you a bright ray of hope? But you're right, and what's more, our friends won't be leaving an obvious trail this time, since they don't have the men to bait any more ambushes. Says you! Bring them on, says I! A little difficult, but we handled it. More than could be said for the villagers here giving up their homes to the enemy. Surprised the Giths left any of them alive. It'd be more mercy than I'd show them. No, the villagers were the reason the Gith were here. Tell me you're not as blind as you seem. 
You're from West Harbor, right? Duncan told me what happened there. What do you think would have happened to your little swamp village if all of you had decided to surrender and wait the gith out? You know what would have happened as well as I do. At least I admit it. All right, then. Let's head out. We have a lot of ground to cover, and I'll- Forgive me? You... Are you hunting a woman? Chandra Jero? Those creatures... We heard her screaming as they were carrying her off. I tried to call out to her, but... I didn't realize they had her at first, but she makes a merchant run through Ember and Port Last during harvest season. We hadn't seen her yet this year, though, and... Sorry, where are my manners? I am Elaine. Please, I saw the beast taking her to the mountains to the north and east. They barely have an hour on you, but they were moving fast. And thank you for saving us from those creatures. I can't thank... We promise no such thing. In fact, she could be dead. But we'll follow this trail as long as we feel like it. Now run back home with the rest of your scared kinsfolk. Fine! Coddle them. And all you'll do is line their bodies up for execution. Now, can we go without more mewling dogs getting in our way? Every moment we wait, the trail gets colder.
Lei mi può prendere. Conforus! A Pio no. Guards, wolves, ambushes, now a dark cave filled with gifts. Why are we wasting time over this farm girl again? Fine, I was just saying... This seems like an awful lot of effort over some peasant girl. I mean, that is all she is to you, right? Well then, that's that. Let's go in and get this over with, if they haven't already settled it for us. Zieri has foretold your coming, Kalakcha. She has sent me to end you. I enjoy knowing my prey, Kalakcha. I find it sweetens the taste of their death. Zieri allows me this luxury. Kalakcha is the brand given to one who not only steals a silver sword, but destroys the sword to hide the crime, and then impudently carries its shards. You lie, Kalakcha! You gather the shards to use their power. I can feel the stink of your corruption mixed with the energy of the shards you possess. Do you mock me? No, Kalakcha. Your title is fresh to our history. Zieri gave you this name to properly classify the severity of your crime. Very well, Kalakcha. We will talk as long as you continue to amuse me. My name is unimportant. 
You need only know that Zieri has granted me the honor of killing the Kalak Cha and taking your head as a trophy back to the Astral Plane. Zieri is a sword stalker of the highest order. She is favored by the Lich Queen and has slain countless enemies. Vlakith, the Lich Queen, has been our leader for millennia. Her greatness is second only to Gith herself. I don't wish to speak of her further. Very well, Kalakcha. We will talk as long as you continue to amuse me. Silver swords are the Lich Queen's sacred gift to her knights. Many outsiders covet their power. Their theft is the highest crime an outsider can commit. Course. But both crimes are still punishable by death. Very well, Kalakcha. We will talk as long as you continue to amuse me. Vlakith, the Lich Queen, has been our leader for millennia. Her greatness is second only to Gith herself. I don't wish to speak of her further. Gith is our savior. It was by the strength of her conviction and the power of her sword that she freed our people from our enslavement to the Illithids. Long live Gith! Long live Gith! Do you not know? The Illithids, or Mind Flayers, were responsible for enslaving our people for untold eons. Gith freed us. Gith lives. Of that, every Gith Yankee is certain. But she is lost to us. Some say she is imprisoned in Bator. You dare question my devotion to the Lich Queen? Slay the Kalakcha! For Zieri! Zieri! There is a problem. Handle it! I am not finished here. I'll be your door.
find the Gith Yankee leader and retrieve the shards from her Zexus. Leave no one alive. As for these newcomers, deal with them. I'll be your goal. Give me a moment, and this will all be over. <laughs> <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 
<laughs> Listen, when I strike it, it's like the tolling of a bell. I can still smell the stench of its creator on its surface, running deep into the ore. Why would the gift keep such a thing, as broken as it is? Davra. We should tear it apart. See if its limbs twitch when cleaved from the body. Why? It seems one victim has drawn others. Anything being torn apart by demons is an ally in my book. What? You've never seen a construct? I don't have much appreciation for magic, but you have to admire the workmanship here. It looks to be made of solid steel. Oh, and stay clear of those bladed appendages. They look sharp. Obviously, this thing wasn't on the Gith Yankee side, whatever it was. Or those demons, which means there's someone else tracking our movements. How many enemies do you have anyway? There's almost more than I can count. There's a surprise. Watch it. But you know, seems to me this thing could be worth some coin. Let's take it with us. Sell it off to a wizard.
a Pio no. Apio no.
a Pio no. Though these demons were unanticipated, your arrival was not. I've seen it burning brightly in my visions for some time. How long did you think you could escape us? You have stolen our shards, defiled them with your touch, and now you will die, Kalakcha! Know that you're in no position to demand anything from me. You will answer for your crimes, along with this frail thing that carries the last of the Jero blood. You don't know your crimes? Very well. Let me recount them. You have slaughtered many of our people. And you hold in your possession relics sacred to the Githyanki, a silver sword of our people. Fragments of it. You put too much importance on your actions and your crime. You have nothing that other thieves have not stolen before. You think there is something special or unique about your crime, or the shards you carry. There is not! You fill the air around you with lies and accusations. But you will find they make a poor shield. You were right. She does know the importance of the sharp silver thing. The shards! You can tell she's lying. It's written across her face. You dare to presume to know more than I about this matter? You know nothing of what you have done, nor the importance of what you carry. Ziari, forgive my words, but I too felt the power from the shards when the Kalakcha entered, and when I gathered the shards you carry. As did I. It seems a matter greater than us. Our queen should know of it. It has been too long since we have sent word to her of our actions here. Ignore the words of the criminal. They are deceptions. He seeks to manipulate you as our illithid masters once did. Do not allow it. Looks like she lost some face. I think we may be able to count on some defections if things turn nasty. I have recounted your crimes. You shall stall your punishment no longer. Why the same thing you want from her? She is the last known descendant of one who stole a silver sword from us. His sword! The blade he stole from us was broken. Instead of prying the blade from his hands, we must hunt down the mess of his crime. You already know the answer. The time for your deceptions is over. Now you will face your punishment, Kalakcha. It is why your path brought you here, and why the shards you carry will soon be added to mine. They did so in response to your crime. As you carry the shards, so must you carry the guilt as well.
It is a door shaped by my people. One that leads to the realms of the Githyanki, and maintained by my will alone. If you were in the Astral Plane, the Lich Queen would see that you were slowly tortured, killed, and then raised again for countless cycles. Your crime merits many deaths. Among the Githyanki, none but the Lich Queen have more authority than I. Enough of this. Know that I will hear your pleas, and allow you this one last chance to atone for your crime. My offer of mercy is this. I will grant a swift, painless death for you and your companions if you freely hand over the shards you have taken. Did you really think you could keep such relics of my people? They do not belong to you. Odd. I have all the ones you carry, yet it seems you still possess one. You have a piece of the sword inside of you. And I shall remove it from you. I think we've had enough of this one. Glory, glory.
steel will strike. <laughs> Walk away from this. Yes. To battle. Who's for a fight? Come on. You are wrong, Kalakcha. And I hope the pain you have brought here is revisited upon you a thousandfold. The Lich Queen will know of my fall. Yes. But it will be too late. What comes for you will be revenge enough. We were never the ones you had to fear. In defying us, you have harmed your own people and everything on your plane. The Githyanki will strike at you no longer. This was the last of our strongholds devoted to the recovery of the Shards. There will be no more attacks from my people because it will serve no purpose. You have sealed your fate. The shards you carry were needed. The shard and you all are needed. Evil wakes, Kalakcha. And in killing me, you now stand alone against what comes. An ancient enemy comes for you. 
one that has existed for millennia. You have already felt the effects of his presence, and you will grow stronger with time. This enemy, this King of Shadows, if he succeeds in his plans, your civilization will become dust, and all life will be consumed by darkness. I will see you in death, Kalakja. I do not think I will have to wait long. I have to lighten this load. I'm getting so tired of this. You have to let me save you sometime or else I'll never be able to pay you back. Oh, there'll be plenty of time for you to pay all of us on the way back to Neverwinter. You all put me in danger. I'm not paying you a single coin. Oh, then you'll be paying me another way. My bedroll's a little cold at night. I'm thinking you can fix that. I could always set you on fire, Bishop. That'd solve two problems. You wound me, girl. Or is that jealousy I hear? Don't worry, I'll get to you soon enough. Me. Quick to defend the farm girl, I see. And not hard to see why from the look of her. But perhaps my words were ill-chosen, just like this journey. Now that we have our precious little treasure, shall we go? Hey, welcome back! Glad to see you've all returned, and in one piece, no less. Huh? What do you mean? Inside the wound on your chest. That means you've been carrying around the shard almost your entire life. I, we had no idea. Ah, notice the stumble in his words. Your uncle has been keeping secrets, I think. Silence, Bishop. I don't know if I'm the best one to be telling you this. But if you've got one of those shards in you... I think you've earned the right to hear everything. Dagon probably already told you, but when you were an infant, West Harbor was the site of a battle, a terrible battle. The King of Shadows himself led an army of demons against the Neverwinter Army, which had gathered at the village. West Harbor was struck suddenly without warning. There was panic, confusion, villagers fleeing every which way to escape the battle. But Dagon's wife Shayla and your mother Esmeril did not. They stayed behind to save you. As demons and magefire rained upon the village, they fought to reach your crib. By the time Dagon even realized they were missing, it was too late. He could only watch from a distance as the village was consumed in the battle. It wasn't my decision to keep what happened to your mother from you, and my brother would be furious, I told you. I guess he... he thought it would be too much for you. In any case, when the few that remained returned to the village, no one was alive. Except you. Your mother was there. So much blood, and you were clutched in her bosom. A deep wound in your chest. She tried to shield you, but the shard must have cut through her and into you. No one knew how you survived, but you did, and your wound sealed itself within days, leaving the scar that you still bear. But if that wound was due to the shard that pierced you, then that raises many questions, and I'm afraid I'm just all out of answers. It's been with me for a long time. I am glad I could finally speak of it. Why the long faces, you two? Somebody die? If so, sounds like a cause for celebration to me. Grobnar, you worthless half-man. Strike up a tune before I strike you. Of course, Sir Bishop. It so happens I have just the tune. By the way, I've decided it would be in both our interests if I stay on with you. What? Does a man need a reason? Come now. Duncan's kind request was enough to start this, I think. Why not finish it? We don't need any more of your help. No, no. There's no need, Bishop. I'm sorry for before. 
but you've done more than- Oh, come now, Duncan, I still owe you. And what better way to make it up to you than watching your kin here? After all, a debt is a debt, all the way until the end. Isn't that right? I hate to ask, but what happens now? I can't go back to my farm, ashes and all. Travel with us? Her? I'd have to agree with Nishka. She's been through enough. Do you think that's wise? Careful. Any more compassion out of you and it could kill me. Oh, well, if we just need her to get into the Haven, oh, that's fine then. <laughs> that, I can understand. If that is your decision, so be it. But it is her decision as well, since it endangers her. I really appreciate the sudden interest from the both of you. But I can take care of myself. Besides, whenever I'm alone, that's when the problems seem to crop up. If she's going to be with us, she'll need to do some catching up. We can't just keep on rescuing her all the time. Rescuing me? I can rescue myself. Sometimes, when there's not too many lizard men or Githyanki. Well, I know enough to use a sword, and I can handle myself in a fight. I mean, I'm no spellcaster, but if you need an extra blade... I admit, you've rescued me twice now. And if you're going to help teach me to survive these attacks, I accept. But there's some things you're going to have to accept, too. I don't like being left behind, because whenever you're out of my sight, suddenly all this trouble starts happening, and I'm really tired of it. So, look. I won't try to get in your way or anything, but I don't want us to part ways again. I've... I've, well, lost too much already. You're not leaving me behind, all right? Then that's all I ask. So the farm girl's going to join our band. Good. We need someone to make up for the paladin, or at least to catch arrows if Grobnar's already dead. For now, I say we crack some of those kegs and drown the flagon in wine. Lord Nasher, forgive us. She said it could not wait. It is a matter of some urgency, and there is little time. My lord, I come to you with- You will bow to Lord Nasher. Of course. I meant no disrespect, my lord. What brings you here, Torio? If there is some new dispute with Luskin, speak with the Trade Guild first, then- Oh no, my lord. This matter concerns Neverwinter. There is a murderer loose in your city. Murderer? And whom has this murderer killed? An entire village lies dead, my lord. Naval, have our scouts reported anything about- The village was slaughtered, and now the murderer hides here within your walls. You must initiate a search at once. Only one of us wears a crown. Yet you dare to give me orders within my halls? I will do nothing until I confirm this village's destruction. Then, if I see fit, I will act. Do not test me on this. Whatever pleases you, my lord. But I would act quickly, lest the murderer slip through your fingers. If that were to happen, I have no doubt there would be serious repercussions. I do not need to remind you of the extradition treaty. By every god and his mother, what a fool I was to ever sign anything bearing Luskan's seal. I can have Torio detained, Lord Nasher. No. She would not be so bold if there were not something to her claims. Dispatch scouts, Naval, and order the Watch to search the city. I think it would be in our interest to find the killer before Luskin does. If I may, my lord, I have someone well suited to aid in our search. An agent of ours, Sand. I think that he can help us find our true murderer. No matter how deep Luskin tries to hide him. Sand? I recall that one. I thought he was our eyes, but not by choice. In this matter, my lord, we may trust him implicitly. He takes a certain... pleasure in bringing Luskin truths to light. Very well. See to it, Naval, and make haste.
There you are. I am here because Luskin has accused you of murder. An entire village, no less. Have you heard of Ember? I've scraped things from my boot that I respect more than Luskin. But unless we find some means of clearing you of these charges, we will have to surrender you to them. We've signed a treaty with Luskin. They have the right to dispense low justice for any crimes committed on their soil. But I'm not turning over a loyal member of the Watch to some Luskin dog on this day or any other. Your guilt is preordained in a Luskin court. If you were a lord, knight, or even a squire, however, then matters would be different. You would be subject to high justice, and your trial would take place here in Neverwinter before Lord Nasher. I need you to go see Sir Grayson, one of Lord Nasher's most trusted knights, and become his squire. I may also send a friend of mine to assist you. He has proven invaluable in such cases in the past. Mind you, the matter must still go to trial. And if you cannot prove your innocence, then you will face execution. For now, let us deal with what we can. See Sir Grayson at once at Captain Berlena's office. Pledging yourself to Neverwinter's service will give us time to counter these Luskin lies. And until you answer for these charges, the gates of the city will be barred to you. Seek out Grayson, but do not leave the city. No way in the hells will I let those Luskins get their hands on you! But there's still something we can do, right? Even Naval said as much. All you have to do is pledge yourself to one of the knights and Luskin can't touch you. And we're innocent, besides. I mean, the slaughter of an entire village? That's going too far, even by Luskin standards. Is it? If you have something Luskin wants, they'd kill an entire city for it. They don't care. They attacked Neverwinter once, and even now they're sending fleets to attack Ruithim. Give them an excuse and you'll soon find Luskin blades at your gate. Uh, Duncan, looks like we have a guest. Oh, as if the day couldn't get any worse. What do you want, Sand? I am here to help you. And your kin, actually. Oh, really? And what's the price? If it's more than a half copper, you can see yourself out. No, I seem to have been given an ultimatum, in fact. I have heard of your troubles with Luskin. Word travels fast. Know that if you are sent to Luskin, you will be killed. I realize you may find my sincerity difficult to believe, but allow me to act on your behalf. There are laws, and there is right and wrong. I know you uphold the law, and I do not believe you are guilty of this. And if they should get a hold of you, you will be killed. I believe people should answer for their crimes, but it must be just. Well, at best, they will put you on trial, or what seems to be one, then execute you. At worst, they will dispense with the courtroom mockery and execute you as soon as you step within the gate. And when I say execute, do not think it will be one clean chop of a headman's axe. Luskins have all sorts of inventive ways for executing prisoners that is best not to describe on a full stomach. Sure. After all, a hedge wizard can't make things any worse. Maybe all that digging through books might prove useful. If we need to burn down Luskin, then perhaps we shall seek you, Quara, but your ignorance will cause more damage here than you know. Luskin is not ruled by men, it is ruled by magic, by the masters of the towers. And if they have decided that you are to be delivered to them, then... So, let them try. Whatever spark of magic you think you have, you idiot girl, they will bleed from you by demon, spell, and curse until even your father won't be able to save you. And I suspect that what they seek may have consequence beyond you, beyond me, for much of the realms. Fortunately, becoming a squire is enough for our needs, and I believe you have already been told about someone who can help you. Sir Grayson, yes? Let me join with you. I have considerable experience with these matters, and foiling Luskin plots is something I relish. <laughs>